uh, we all know social media has, has impacted just every facet of life. And so explain to us how patients can use that also in communicating with their doctors. Well, uh, recently I myself have embraced uh, social media by starting a Facebook and Twitter mm -hmm. uh, accounts, LinkedIn, just to allow patients to be able to reach me pretty much anytime they want, whether I'm at the office or at home or uh, you know, on vacation, I still check the sites and, and see what they have to say and, and respond to them appropriately. So I think in order to reach a, a broader market and to, to cast a wider net, uh, if you will, uh, you, you have to embrace these things because this is the way the world is going. Um, it makes the world a smaller place. It makes you accessible, really, no matter where you are. And it really makes the patient feel like they can get to you when they need you. Right. And that's what I want them to feel. Especially somebody as a surgeon, you know, those right. first few days after surgery, it's like you have these questions and these, sure. you know, that you need to, and it makes it easier for you that the person doesn't have to come in, book the time, sit down, you can communicate directly. So, uh, yeah, gone are the days of the pagers, and right. now you can seriously communicate with somebody. And, and you know, it, it, does, it does give them really, a, and, and it gives them a, a sense of comfort, knowing that if they need you, they can get to you. Yeah. And that's what we want. That's we want our patients to have. All right. Well, our medical experts will answer your questions throughout the show. If you have a question, email it to greatdayhouston at khou.com or send us a tweet at greatdayhouston. Up next, a